what they look like. They were nice. Nice seventh grade tits. <laughs> Are you even allowed to think about girl. those now? Her tits? Yeah. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> You're under arrest, dog. <laughs> yeah, that's my that's minority report. <laughs> hey, Nick. I paid her. Who, Who do, do you, you think, think you, you are? are? I appreciate your energy. Who are you? <laughs> CJ. What are you doing here? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you in my living room? <laughs> Episode 220, Me folks. Hey, everybody. I am Dr. Schatz, uh, Chief of Intoxication. Wow. AKA Dr. Fauci. Drunken State Hospital. That's awesome, dude. Nice. Dude. Really Thank living you. up to my name. So all the haters out there, keep hating, dude. Hell yeah. And I'm a beaner greaser from done. the 50s, dog. <laughs> <laughs> King Chris it. Is that true? That's true. High blood pressure. <laughs> yep, of course. <laughs> Full Hispanic. Hell yeah. This is episode 220, and to my right, I have... Hey, I'm Chris James. Follow me online at TJ Talks Funny for brand new jokes, dates, and other stuff. <laughs> Uh, whenever I order a six-inch sandwich, it makes me question the accuracy of the tape measure I keep in my bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> I've never measured my cock, have you? Uh, yeah. That can't be true. It's completely true. Damn, that's crazy. It's because he doesn't want to know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like George's is bliss. I haven't found a tape measure. <laughs> it's short enough. <laughs> that's smart, though. You don't want to know the actual number. No, I don't. You'd be surprised, I think. Really? The how small it is. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> My yeah. wife says it's the perfect size. Yeah, I'm sure she does. <laughs> She's very kind. <laughs> She's Christian. Hey, love me some Christian girls. Dude. Do you? Yeah. Right. Praise the Lord. All right, moving on. Um, <laughs> it's been a fun week. Great week for uh, two out of three of us. Why so? Because we were out there living our best life, dude. What were you doing? Being a fucking <laughs> dickhead going to work? <laughs> Yeah, dude, got that OT in. Oh, yeah? Yeah, working long-ass days. That OT will turn into OJ real quick. Without drinking. Yeah. <laughs> or smoking marijuana. Wow. OT, what's that? Ovaltine tits? Ovaltine rules. What is Ovaltine? It's like uh, Canadian chocolate milk. Really? Yeah. Sounds disgusting. No, it's Belgium. Some kind of, no, it's good. It's really good. Really nice. I mean, if it's Belgium, it completely changes the... You know, my opinion about it. Okay. Because Belgium has the best chocolate. How does, are you sure? Yeah. Belgium chocolate, dude. I thought Africa had the best chocolate. King Chris Chris. <laughs> that was so stupid. Why'd you laugh at that? <laughs> <laughs> He's on fire, dude. <laughs> Look at his hair crotch and fire, dude. And in case you couldn't tell what I am today. What are you? I'm a wigger. <laughs> oh. That's cute. It's like that the twirl cute. of the hair. I Thank do you. too. All right. Well, guys, <laughs> thanks uh, so much for tuning in, folks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll so, see you next week. no, stay on Halloween horror, you know. So, I'll talk, I'll give, give Nick's picks for the Halloween. Okay? All right. Dude, give, me, uh, give me your picks, dude. So, I just watched, uh, uh, I guess, Hulu, like, redid Hellraiser. I've never seen the original. How was that? I've never watched the original Hellraiser. I mean, I kind of knew the concept of the. I did it. It's pretty easy. It's pretty dope. It is. It's super you dope. You saw the new one? No, not the new one. I'm talking about the old one. The, original. the, the concept of it is very original. Refresh yeah. my memory for and those like, I don't know. The, it's fucking spooky. It's very spooky. It's basically, it's like these like weird monsters that are inter- interdimensional like travelers that like get like basically like summoned through this weird box that like looks for blood and sacrifice and, and such. But Scientology, the monster, you mean? But yeah, but the, and the monsters are creepy. Like they're very, it's very eerie. And just, I don't know, it, you don't see very many good horror movies with original, I mean, I guess that wasn't an original idea still because it was a remake, but it was well done, dude. I, re- I really, I want to watch that original one now, though, because I love horror movies. Like, I love like, that old campy ones. I'm like, how have I never watched Hellraiser? I saw yeah. his top five, but what else? I just always know, known that, like, the pinhead guy. I was yeah, like, yeah. where is that guy from? <clears throat> now oh, it's so a girl. You, so you saw the remake, not the original? Yeah, I just, I oh, watched, okay, Hulu okay. Just, just recently put out, like, a, yeah. new, a new one. Now it's a girl. Yeah. I mean, they want to show it on. A black Yay. girl. Streaming, they wanted to stream, so trans. She's trans, yeah. It was yeah. the only way they could get it made. Exactly. I actually saw the um, video of her getting the makeup put on her, uh-huh. and it's like four and a half hours of makeup, dude. Imagine you watched a four sitting... and a half hour video. No, it was time lapsed. No, it was. I swear to God. Um, and I don't do that often. Uh, 
It was like, imagine sitting in a chair getting makeup done for like four or five hours. The Grinch with Jim Carrey was six and a half hours. That's crazy, dude. That's so intense. I could only do that if I was edging. I'd feel like that's mm-hmm. disgusting. I feel like um, <laughs> I'd get like claustrophobic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'd have like 20 panic attacks in the 20? middle. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's kind of like being on a flight, I feel like. See, it doesn't happen to me on a flight. I don't Where get panic attacks I just, on a flight. I don't mean the panic attack. I just mean having to be stuck somewhere oh, with no it. option. You know what I mean? That's how I feel living with my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you really don't have an option. It's really scary. It's crazy. It's terrible. It's, I, I you truly always have li- an option, dog. Are truly, you going to inject her now that you're Dr. Shots? I truly live in a haunted house. Yeah. Yeah. You going to give her the vax, dude? Nah, I don't think so. What? You got Vax all over, dog. No, those are shots, dude. Those are just tequila. <laughs> <laughs> Doctor Party. God, I can't wait to drink again. Yeah, what are you gonna? What's gonna be your first drink on Halloween? Oh, I don't know. Probably some high noons, dude. High He's noons. Into it. Ease into it. Yeah. <laughs> you are gay. Why? Because how, I'm going to ease into it, being an alcoholic. Just go back. <laughs> just go back go to back my big. regular. <laughs> <again>. <laughs> no, dude, I can't. Or else, if I can make a fool of myself on Halloween. So what? That's the day to make a fool of yourself. Is it? Yeah. Halloween. Hallow's Eve. Hallow's Eve, dude. Ooh. Spooky. Um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to drink. I haven't thought about it, actually. But I know I am going to smoke some weed. Oh, okay. Wasn't sure since you're Hispanic. Yeah, you look like you're about to smoke some meth, <laughs> dog. Yeah, it does. Whatever, <laughs> Smoke a cock in your mouth, dude. <laughs> Cold I'm smoking for six hours. Been there, done that, I say. <laughs> which which part? <laughs> Both. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's nice. Um, okay. Well, moving on from Hellraiser. We're, what what else? else? What? What other movies have you seen? That's all that I want. You know, I was going to watch House of a Thousand movie Corpses the other day, dude. Great movie. I know. It is a really good movie, um, but I wanted to rewatch. watch it. watch it with your daughter. Well, that's the thing, dude. She was napping, and then like I was like, oh, I might have time to watch, you yeah. know, catch a flick by myself, and um, uh, the wife's not a fan of that type of movie. <sighs> so stupid, dude. Well, what I wouldn't call her that. Okay. No, she's pretty smart, actually, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I go to turn it on, and then I just hear my daughter's door open, uh, and I'm just like, God damn it. Now, that's a horror movie. That is horror. That's true horror. Yeah, it's true horror. I'm living it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's VR. worse than the movie. <laughs> God, that's yeah. so loud. Is it? Kind of. Doesn't hurt your ears? No, I like it. Tickles my ball sack. Am I a little bitch? Yeah, you are a little bitch. I am. I will admit that. Thing. All right. Are you afraid of uh, your child being- The dark? Yeah. In the dark? No, your child being like a little like demon child. Dude, are you afraid of that happening? Do those kind of horror movies scary? Do they have a daughter? Like Pet Cemetery style? Like, yeah. That'd be creepy as fuck. I've always hated Rose little Mary's kids baby. in movies. Yeah. yeah. Or like the, the, uh, twins the, the, Omen. Omen. the Omen. The OG Omen. Yep. Um, what else? Chucky. I mean, Chucky derives. Good Chucky's funny. Chucky's a good one. Uh, what other movie? What other movie? Like the the twins in The Shining, dude? I already said that. You know Did what you? movie freaked me out when I was a kid? What movie? Legend. Your parents' sex tape. <laughs> ah, freaked him out, made me come. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Don't cut me off, sir. Respect. <laughs> <laughs> Don't cut me off, sir. Respect my point. Uh, Legends of the Fall. You know what Is I'm talking about? Will Smith and yeah. his golfer? No, it was uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Tom Hanks, I believe, and it was Tom, oh that pedophile Tom Cruise, not oh. Tom Hanks. Oh, that pedophile! <laughs> <laughs> Is that the vampire one? Um, I no, it might I might be thinking of uh, a different movie with the word. You're legend thinking about Lost Boys, dude? That's what you're thinking about. No, I'm Never not. Seen it? Children of the Corn. That was a good one. Children in porn, yeah. <laughs> Children in the porn. Too easy. <laughs> okay, Legends of the Fall is a cowboy movie. Uh, <laughs> He's fucking... You're afraid of the cowboys? <laughs> <laughs> We're about to have a duel, boy. It's called Legend with Tom Cruise. And there's a fucking scary-ass demon in it. Mm. Let me see it this freaked demon me doing. the fuck out. That's a, more of a drawing of it. Hold on, let me show you the... It looks Native American, so I'm scared of it. It literally has red skin. I mean, look at that bitch. That's pretty creepy, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. Where that? I never seen that movie. It's fucking. Oh, freaky. it's Ridley Scott too, huh? Let's watch that. He makes good shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um. 
Yeah, I remember Children of the Corn being like haunting. Just because I hate like the the ass like the concept of a little kid being like possessed or like demonized in a movie. Yeah, you hate that. That's so yeah. lame. It's scary, dude. It's, it's like it's not a, scary it, at all. Yeah, yeah. It is. I don't think so either. Really? There's no. literally nothing scary about a little kid. What are you gonna punt the kid? Yes. No, you couldn't. Why? He's a Satanist. You tie it up to a pole and light it on fire. No, you can't do if that. If there's anymore. a demon inside of it, you can't do it anymore. Okay, S- tie behind your truck. Scramble that bitch up with a coat hanger, dude. It's it's already born. It's like six or seven. <laughs> <laughs> it's never too late. <laughs> it's too late. A terrible thing to say, dude. Sorry. <clears throat> just we say saying. a lot of terrible things. On I'm this. just offended by that one. Though. I don't care. Okay. <clears throat> What did you do this weekend? What? <laughs> you had something to talk about, dude. I don't have anything to talk about. Yeah, you do, I want to talk about Hellraiser. You played your guitar? Yeah, I played... Oh, yeah. I am... When I fucking... You fucking... My plunk. tires pop, dude. On oh, a on a bike ride? I've been riding a bike for 20 years. It's never happened to me. Really? Yeah. How'd you feel? Shitty. Did you have a replacement? I did not. What an unprepared bicyclist. You always bring a spare, too? Yes. Really? I do. It's in my bag. It's crazy. And the tools to change it, too. All right. It's Good. called a peat wrench. Good it legit you. is called a Pete Ray. I don't care. Fuck, sorry. <laughs> so you were fucking stranded and I wouldn't have been. Well, I wasn't stranded. I just had to walk a couple miles home. That sucks. Yeah. My pregnant girl was very happy. <laughs> <laughs> Sucker. She was so mad. Was she? Yeah, I was like, dude, it's my, my fault. Yeah, it is. It really is out of your control. Yeah. It's funny though. Where were you riding your bike at? Dude? Just a little trail or something? Just on that like that fifty one trail that goes down to yeah, the, the wash. Yeah. Roadrunner Park. Yeah. No, not that one. The one that goes past that one. Oh, okay. Towards the Cave Creek like cemetery. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we've done that before. You and me? Yeah. You and I. Fucking retard. All right. <laughs> <laughs> disrespectful dude that was very disrespectful. especially to a doctor like me yeah. <laughs> fucking phd holding motherfucker over you whatever yeah. all right what else did you pluck your guitar a little bit yeah you? we were pulled some strings finally recorded on sunday at Who? the sun-kissed uh bottling plant did it smell like sun-kissed the edison's recorded on sunday at the sun-kissed bottling plant recorded what new album new album the well, live album welcome, yeah. welcome to the devil's house Ooh. Heck yeah. Ooh. welcome to the sun-kissed yeah. factory is what you okay have it, dude. dude when and where is that going to be available for people nick that's Nobody a good cares, question dude <laughs> Pete, take five <laughs> Sorry, you're right you're right dude i'm gonna take five i need a beer <laughs> um i don't know that's a good question we have to get it all Mixed together. I'll, pro- I'll probably just uh, slowly release uh, like videos for each song, like weekly or something, just to kind of keep in the algorithm. Because I need good. to start getting better at doing that with mm-hmm. with the band and whatnot. Um, but it's, it was cool. It was a it was a dope ass place. We release those where on YouTube, YouTube, Instagram. Just try to stay a little bit more on top of posting things. YouTube okay, and how Instagram can, where? How can people at the find Edison at the Edison Music Music dot com? <laughs> <laughs> At the Edison's music, dude. That's I follow not the page. At all for people. Yeah, that's. I mean, it's all right. If you want, if you want to find it, you fucking find it. Okay. Yeah. If people want to find it, they'll find it. <laughs> that's what I've been saying for the last ten years. Uh, <laughs> that's why this podcast has so many followers. Dude. I know. It's so this sad. This guy again. I know. Yeah. We're the second funniest podcast. <laughs> <in Phoenix. laughs> Give us cut us some slack. Cut us dude. some slack, Bucky. <sighs> um. Yeah, we recorded nine songs. It was crazy because we were there from nine until four. And literally, the do- as we were like the last loadout, like was, it was four o'clock p.m. Yeah, like it, literally, like there couldn't have been any like closer to a time of like the limit we oh, set it out nice. for. It was wild. So you fucking barely pulled it off. Barely fucking pulled it nice. off. Yeah, I mean, we had like an hour and a half to record the songs basically after like getting everything set up. And did you did you just did, you didn't switch anything up? Like had to move shit around during like from song to song. No, not not oh, too okay. much, not too much. Uh, the guy that the engineer. Outfits? No, no. Okay. What was the place called? Uh, Sun Kiss Sun- Factory. Yeah, Sun Kiss. Oh, is that a factory where you kiss people's sons? All right. I don't know who's <laughs> worse, dude. This is why we have followers. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what oh, was I gonna say? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sun Kiss Factory. But I've heard you were rumors. Out at four. Yeah, I've heard rumors that it does still smell like Sun Kiss. From who? 
from people that lived. It was hot. It was hot as fuck because by the time we turned all like the AC and stuff, I mean it was a warehouse. Yeah, yeah. it was so fucking hot. Holy shit, dude! Oh yeah. Oh my, my was just full sweat. You almost pass out? Yeah, I couldn't sing. Really? I literally couldn't sing. That's gonna be a good song. Yeah, no, we're going to have to. I'm going to have to overdub. <laughs> yeah, the singing. Yeah, yeah. So, what do you mean you couldn't sing? I like my voice, like just from being sick and it being like so hot. My literally, like my windpipes were like I could not hit notes yeah. for the like. It was crazy. Like on, frustrating, and on, it was so frustrating because we've been fucking working on it forever. And that yeah. was like even when I got sick like a week and a half ago. I was like, of course this happened. So I was trying so hard to be like get healthy and everything yeah. like that. But I mean, I feel better and I felt better. It's just like still like singing. It, it takes a while yeah. to like get back to where, especially if mm-hmm. like, I mean, I like, I yell to like, like falsetto. So like there's a pretty like big range of like demands mm. that I'm trying to do. So that was a little frustrating, but at, at the end of the day, like most of our recordings, we live record all the instruments and then we do the vocals after anyways. Gotcha. So we'll just dump that track and I'll just do the vocals in our studio. So it'll all it'll work out and like, it'll be worth it. Cause like the video and the, our engineer's brother who did the video for us, he also like does, he runs lights. So he had like so many cool lights and like things that he was controlling cool. through the song. So yeah. it's, there's gonna be some fucking sick I'm visuals. excited for it. I mean, I'm, I'm very excited for I'm it. I'm excited to go to the Edison's music on <laughs> Instagram. <laughs> And check it out. Well, it'll be nice too because, like, we've just been like having this material forever, trying to record this because we already have another album basically ready. Oh, damn! It's just that we need to offload this one first. Right. But like now, so it'll be nice. I mean, we have a show coming up December first, uh, March first. So like, just starting to get shows. Where does, when in December? When where in December? December first. Yeah, cool. You can wait for that, people. God, where is it? How the fucking oh Yucca Tap Room. Where's that at? Tempe. You never been there before? I don't think so. It's a pretty dope little bar. Some pinball. Oh. You're going to be a pinball hero? No, oh, come on. Be cool. stars in your eyes. I miss when you guys both got fucked up with me. Yeah, I know, huh? <laughs> Different times, dude. <laughs> Different times. First of all, it's Jukebox Hero. What's the pinball one that I'm thinking <laughs> about? Now? What's the pinball? Um... That that might be a line in the song. No, no, no. It's definitely its own its own song. It's pinball hero with stars in his eyes. That's, that's what it is, dude. Yeah. Are you thinking of pinball wizard by the who? Yes, that's the one I was thinking about. Uh, okay. I doubt it. Play it. Don't play it. We're gonna get fucking copyrighted. It's commercials. Hold on. Yeah. Yeah, but this vision kills me. Right on, dude. I'm excited for that. I'll be at that show as well. Thank you. Appreciate it. I always go to your show. That's definitely not the song you're thinking of. That is the song I'm thinking about. Yeah. It's just pinball hero. <laughs> I hate with you, dude. Stars <laughs> in his eye. What's up with this guy, dude? I don't know. He came back. spreading he negativity, came back, dude. He came back a different person. He really did. He fucking goes away for the weekend and lives his best life. Catches <laughs> fucking cancer out there. AIDS. Yeah. Both. Please. And cancer AIDS? Yeah. Cancerous AIDS. Oh my That's God. what it is. <laughs> it starts with AIDS, but then becomes cancerous. Oh, yeah. Well, it's a butthole tumor. Yeah. So, so, so now he's going to make you sing or sick this next week, so you won't be able to fucking record your songs. Dude. Nah, whatever he has, I've already gotten 12 times, <laughs> dude. This is crazy. I've, I've, so you said the last time. What did I say? That you've already had that, whatever you got. This is the new one. Oh, new variant? Yeah. Your doctor you would know. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear they made a new variant in the lab that <clears throat> kills like 80% of the mice? Nice. Yeah, but by combining the first strain of COVID with the most recent strain of COVID. Really? Yeah, pretty dope, dude. Why'd they do that? Because they want to kill us all, dude. Uh, well, Population control. That's still 20% not dead, though. That's a good sign. Yeah, that's true. Do so. you think you're going to die? Me? With a new variant that they created in the no, lab? No, I don't think so. No? Got too much to live for. <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works. <laughs> pretty sure. Yeah. Why is that funny to you, dude? I don't know. It's just you're comical. Well, well, I hope that when I, my eulogy and my funeral, you tell yeah, I'll my take daughter, care of the baby. For you sure. tell my daughter, hey, yeah. I made a joke about him your dying. Dad dying. Yeah, so remember that. I will. Thank you, and I'll take care of. Your I don't daughter. want you, you to think take he's care. He's gonna of me. live. Yeah, absolutely. You're a minority. Yeah, that's they, true. they're not going for minority. They need minorities now. For what? To repopulate after the. Great divide. We don't want more <laughs> After minorities. <the> culling. <laughs> yeah. What? They need to get, you're going to have more min- minorities. That's true. They probably want to kill the poor whites. That's what they want. 
yeah. because we're entitled and yeah. we won't we won't put up with Fucking, as much as you guys uh, wear that's wigs. True. Uh, that's a dumbass over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be alive. <laughs> I'll be alive. I'll be like yeah. Mama Coco, dude. If I can die at one oh nine. Is Mama Coco is that your grandma or something? Hispanics are pretty much niggas. I mean, I've been saying that for years. <laughs> uh, That's your dad, actually. <laughs> That's CJ reported yeah. your dad at the party. <laughs> true, true. Uh, Mama Coco, dude. The movie Coco. Yeah. You never watched that? I did. It's based on an actual person, the an movie. actual family. The movie brought a tear to my eye. Me too. It's, it is a tearjerker. Yeah. And it. You cry and jerk off to it. Don't fucking do it, dude. Don't do it. I knew you were going to do that. All right. Don't fucking slum down to that level. Why? That's literally what this podcast is. Yeah, it's the slum. Well, I'm trying to change that. By what? Dressing like a fucking skunk with gonorrhea? (laughs) (laughs) Gonorrhea is treatable, first off. So. Still embarrassing. Only have it periodically. Still embarrassing. Um, No, dude. The lady, she died at 109. And it looks exactly like the... 109, a Hispanic dude. She's probably at least 285. <laughs> You're probably not wrong about that, actually. She was a bigger lady. Was she? Yeah. She had those cocoa melons. <laughs> hey Hell yeah, dude. No teeth. Gummers. That's not a good thing. We've been over this. Yeah, I mean, it, I think it depends on who you ask. But that's just my opinion. Yeah, if you ask a, a person or a filthy degenerate. Yeah. Okay. Could have got that out. You know, sooner, but you did it. Could have got that <laughs> out. What, dude? Little stumbles can't show up? <laughs> Man, we're all off one week. And we're all at each other's throats, dude. One we're week, not, dude. Uh, we yeah. were here last yeah, week. He was gone. Homie oh, wasn't here. Yeah. that's. What? Do you want? Do you care to elaborate on what you were doing this weekend? Makes me horny. What makes you horny? Being at each other's throats. Okay. Now you're ruining it. <laughs> now we're going to become the third podcast and third yeah, yeah, podcast. Seriously. Like we worked so hard to get to second. <laughs> uh, I was at Skank Fest this weekend. Ah, uh, dude, I was so yeah, jealous of the fucking pictures you were sending. Uh, it was fucking fantastic, dude. I was jelly belly for I sure. Know, I'm not so gonna lie. Me too. It was dope as hell. I wish you guys were there. Yeah, yeah me too. It's funny because I remember when the the tickets first came out. Like me and Kinsey were gonna go to it. Like we tried to buy the tickets, and just funny to think of like the situation that we're in now. Like, yeah, wouldn't have been as fun, obviously, for her. Wouldn't have been fun for me. I mean, oh, dude, it would not. Have been she would have had to deal with your ass drunk that, every so, night. I wouldn't get drunk out of respect for her. I don't know if the <laughs> respect. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if the fetus would have survived Skankfest, dude. Yeah, yeah so. for real, a lot of bumping yeah. around over there. I just dude. don't know if that's a thing that happens. Mm. So you think Alex's baby's gonna die? No, she was in. She was behind the computer. Dude. She was good. She had her space. Uh, she had a, like a straight up movie moment they made for her with uh harrington proposed to her oh really yeah and he did it on stage during the goddamn comedy jam oh that's cool yeah during like uh i can't remember what the song was exactly i think it was um be my cherry <laughs> oh, i think it was Pin <laughs> <laughs> but uh that was pretty wild i was standing there like uh, that's all i was thinking about during that moment she was just yes. like damn uh no she said she kicked yeah. him in the nuts <laughs> she broke up with him she's Made out with Lewis right in front of him. Damn. Yeah. That would have been harsh. Uh, that was pretty cool, though. I was like, damn, that's wild. That is wild. That is kind of crazy, dude. Yeah. Proposing they, to somebody? Yeah. They barely know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Skankfest was fucking wild, man. What was, your, what was the fondest memory? What was the worst memory? Um, the worst memory... Well, so, <laughs> I think the best was uh, was getting to see... <laughs> First of all, David ah. Tell, I mean, getting to see everybody, but David Tell, Brian Holtzman, I think were the number one two punch, mm-hmm. you know, as far as just fucking Holtzman is so goddamn funny, dude. Like, uh, one of the, one of the shows was first impressions and all the comics were doing impressions. And so Holtzman comes up and he fucking starts screaming about God knows what. And then, uh, he does his first impression and he's like, okay, my first impression Bob Saget, and he picks up the stool and bonks himself on the back of the head and fucking falls down <laughs> across the stage. And then uh, he's like, okay. He starts screaming about God knows what again. And then he's like, second impression, uh, Gilbert Godfrey. And he's like shaking and telling some <laughs> fucking jokes. And he's like, my dick. And then he falls down and dies on the stage. <laughs> and then he did uh, Mitch Hedberg by wrapping the cord around his arm, falling down and dying on stage. All dead was, fucking legends. And it was funny because he was like, Boy, the comedy community really sucked that guy's dick, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. 
and then uh and then he starts screaming about God knows what again. And then uh, he did Robin Williams by wrapping the cord around his neck. Nice. <laughs> Falling down and dying on Solid. stage. Solid. So good, dude. Um, but he was fucking hilarious. And then David Tell is just the fucking king, dude. Yeah. yeah. Undisputed. I, I don't think there's any argument for anybody being funnier than David Tell. A lot of people would say Dave Chappelle, dude. They're, they're wrong. Okay. Still a Dave, though. So Yeah, yeah. true. Two, two, two Daves. 50% right. 50% percent right. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I was fucking... I was so excited when I saw him, David Tell here in uh, in Phoenix, dude. It was just fucking roars of laughter the whole time. Yeah, it was a crazy show. Yeah. Did you go with to that one with uh-huh. me? That was yeah, me. yeah. You no. didn't go to David Tell. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. We yeah, all did. went, didn't we? Yeah, we all went. Did we? Yeah. It was one of the greatest nights of my life. <laughs> Who did we see that he didn't? Big J? Uh, no, I didn't What's see Big, Big J. J with you. God, am I losing my mind? We definitely saw Doctor? somebody. Doctor, help me. Don't touch me. Please. <laughs> Patient. Monkey box. Um, yeah, I can't remember, but no, I, I remember David Tell. Yeah. That was fucking I can hilarious. never forget that night. We had so many laughs together, dude. You didn't go, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're tripping me out, dude. I'm sober over here, and I can't remember shit. Yeah, that's yeah. not a good sign. Yeah. That's not. Early onset. Onset oh, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> And then worst memory, worst part of of the fest, uh, getting tricked by <laughs> those fucking best. peacock was, whores. Yeah, so the fucking best when he texts that know. shit. That was so funny. So I'm walking through. I'm walking down Fremont looking for. I was walking <laughs> towards the pen. The dude, um, you were on the brow. Come on. Yeah, did you get anything? No. Okay. Um, I was walking towards the skank parade, uh, which starts off the uh, the skank fest. Uh, which you know goes from one end of Fremont down to the other, where the uh, where the show was at, and uh, some some whore dressed up like a peacock walks up to me, and like I was walking, I kind of looked over and and saw her make eye contact with me, and then that's when they got like, him. I, that's I, I, <laughs> I literally watched her fucking prepare her bit. Dude, Damn, and she comes, dude. she's like, "Hey, how's it going?" And I'm just like, "Hey, what's up?" She's like, what are you doing? Do you want a picture? I told her I was going to Skank Fest, and she was like, uh, oh, everybody keeps saying that. Where are you from? And she just fucking lulled me in like that. Yeah. And the whole time I'm thinking, That's that like, slow reel, dog. What's this, what, what's this whore's game here? And uh, Were you thinking that? Yeah, I was like. Or was your dick thinking something else? No, I knew it was obviously. I'm like, what are you doing? I like literally said it like that, where I'm like, you know. Yeah. Like suspicious. And she's, you know, and I was girls like, girls don't talk to me. I was like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah, what, are you yeah, doing? Pe- what do you want from me? <laughs> yeah. Literally peacocking. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, like, just in the middle of the conversation, she puts this, like, little, like, lay or some bullshit around me. And she's like, all right, let's take some pictures. And she, like, grabs some fat guy to take a picture with my own phone. And then as he's putting the camera up to take pictures, and she's like, just so you know, we do do this for a generous tip. And I was of like, course they oh, fucking damn. bitch. Too and fat I'm like, old I'll give her the $20 in my wallet. I don't give a shit. I was yeah. going to throw it in a slot machine and just see what happens anyway. So fuck it. She's working. I'll support. You know what I mean? Sex work. And then we get done and she's like, oh, all right. So we, re- we usually do this for $50 a piece. And I'm like, what the hell? Yeah. And she fucking that ain't no joke. We're dude. sitting there haggling basically, and I I, I, <laughs> I, I fucking, just walk away. I because I'm a pussy, dude. Uh, and I was it was my first day there. I didn't want to. I like I didn't know what he had jet lag. He said he had jet lag. What he you told know what us. I mean, like a jet fag. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I ended up paying because it was her and another one, and I gave him yeah. thirty bucks each. Damn, he lost Fuck. sixty bucks, dude. Sixty bucks to these to, whores, to, dude. Crazy. Two fat whores. Yeah, one fat whore and one old whore. Yeah, one was very well, old. Yeah, anything over twenty five is. Ugh. It was funny though. I ignored <laughs> the. Touch me. I ignored the old one like completely. So like she and I both had a rough day. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, yeah. Damn, the fat one did all. She the probably wanted a piece, dude. I, I mean, doubt it. Okay. Don't. She probably wanted a piece of meth rock or whatever. All right, man. Rock. Don't insinuate things you don't know about. Yeah, piece this of your nice wallet, dude. young lady. She got it. So she yeah. had a better day than you, actually. Yeah, they yeah. got me right That's off rough. the bat. First thing that happened to me while I was there. That was so funny, funny there. That was funny. I, d- I fucking died laughing when you're like, yeah, I fucking, I I fell victim to my boyish incelness or yeah, something dude. like that. They totally <laughs> took advantage of my boyish incelness. That's fucked up. <laughs> Yeah, she smelled me out. That's dude. the hustle, though, dude, in Vegas. That's the fucking hustle, man. Yeah, at least they taught me the lesson relatively cheaply. You know yeah, what I mean? true. I paid sixty bucks to learn 
to keep my yeah. fucking guard up while I'm in Vegas. Yeah, it's really a town of, of filth and debauchery. I mean, yeah. Well, have you you've never been? Have it's, you? Uh, one time, ten years ago. Oh, okay, oh so good. before right. you were of age, I was twenty two. Okay. <laughs> Continue. You don't even know how old I am. No, dude. I don't even know your birthday. I thought we were in love. Um, but yeah, so that's what wrong, that was the first. But huh? it, yeah, it's you li- thought wrong, dude. Yeah, it did. It's a. It's you know. The city is a degenerate oh, yeah. city. It's kind of fun for that reason. You just have to know, be aware of that going into yeah. it. I know it's going to be a little dirty and grimy. Yeah. I drank a little bit. haven't drank in oh, several I was going to ask months. that, yeah. I had a couple of beers on Friday and Saturday. I feel like it'd be hard to go through that whole festival without any alcohol. It is because at some points they didn't even, they weren't even selling water. Like some of the places didn't even have water. So I was just like, all right, I guess I'll get a beer. Because I've drink? been standing in fucking line this whole time. Uh, dog had 60 minutes the first night. Oh, okay. And then just a couple of Modellos the second. Nice. But... It was, I mean, being by myself there and not knowing anybody, not not having any fucking, like, being by myself for so long in general, like, drinking is just not good for me. Really? It makes me fucking moody. I'm, I'm walking around this degenerate fucking town. Not the good moody either, dude. Where I'm just, like, looking at, I'm looking at the whores, like, God, it's fucking so sad. That mm. This whole place is just like a you. You can feel the neglect in these people's lives and yeah. the fucking they're all know, trauma. The abuse, trauma victims. Yeah. That's weird. Now, call fuels that you feel like it gets you more interesting. Hundred uh. percent. Yeah, and it makes. And then I start reflecting on myself, and I'm just. I'm like, okay, dude. Like, I just spent so much money to come here and watch other people do the thing that I do. Right. Or I'm just like, I got to really get my shit together. You for know? sure. Yeah, I would imagine it was a pretty big like kick in the ass or like in, inspiration at least. Definitely, I learned yeah. a lot. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. He saved a, la- a lady's life too. Oh yeah. Yeah, the with lady. 30 bucks? Remember you told me <laughs> for thirty bucks. <laughs> yeah, dude. it's another scam. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they would have uh, withdrawn you from know the crack I mean? <laughs> yeah. if I didn't fucking. Have no, them. dude, he was telling me last night because he asked me to pick him up from the airport, and I gladly did, like a good friend would. But like, um, for that, by the way, he, he was telling me last night he was in the middle of the crowd, and some lady next to him passed the fuck out, dude. Well, damn. <sighs> okay. Did you fuck her? Yeah, I put my dick in her mouth. She came right back to life, dude. <laughs> yeah. It was wild. <laughs> like, Get that out of here. <laughs> <laughs> 20 volts clear <laughs> tastes like a hand <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah i didn't save anybody's life but i just if we were uh, a bunch of did. people passed out and oh like, really yeah during this show because it was uh, uh, the main was stage so was standing room only yeah <laughs> and uh during matt and yeah. shane's secret podcast both both shows someone passed out there are there two podcasts yeah oh, that's sick yeah um and I was at the second one, and like the chick who passed out was right next to me, and everybody's like, "Hey, hey, 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 hey," and like nobody can hear anybody. Right. So I was just like, "Oh shit, that's happening right now." So I just screamed "medic" at the top of my lungs because that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. And I was apparently the only one sober enough to recognize that, and it got the attention. Therefore, uh, of saving the, the lady's the likes. You saved her life, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, she came to and his, her boyfriend walked her out. Oh, that sucks. Over his, so you were trying to get laid or Damn, you wouldn't dude. have done it. Yeah. But <laughs> it was weird to go from, from, oh shit, that chick's unconscious, screaming medic. Yeah. And then laughing w- within 30 seconds. True. You know? Yeah. That's, you should, be just, you should have been screaming manic. Yeah. Manic. <laughs> manic. <laughs> just about himself. Yeah. That was the joke. Speedy Petey. Okay, dude. <laughs> I got that's what they call me in the ring, you see. <laughs> yeah, that's what your wife calls you in the bed, too. Oh, <laughs> two minutes taps. Joe List said I had nice arms. That was a highlight. Oh, nice arms? Yep. Yep, we made out. Nice. That was pretty nice. So, that's how you get into comedy. I mean, if you want to make it, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, t- I got to uh, chat with William Montgomery and Hans Kim. Hans Kim's a bigger dude than he looks like on TV. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Like surprisingly for an Asian, mm-hmm. this is what you meant. He's taller than me. He, taller than me. It's probably a lab Asian. Ooh, genetically modified. Yeah. Labrador Asian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, first at Yao Ming, and then Hans Kim. Yeah, crazy. Trying to take over the comedy game. True, yeah. huh? They took over the basketball game. Now they want from to do communism comedy. to comedy. <laughs> Two commies. They put the gum in comedy. Yeah, there's something, there's something like that. I don't know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Left it out there. <laughs> William Montgomery is all slim now, dude. He's like I, it's crazy. Like even seeing him kill Tony, it's crazy. Like how s- slim he looks. I never watched that show, yeah. so it's yeah. Well, good for you, dude. 
Well, I don't watch it on you. I listen to it. You okay. fucking oh, okay. moron. <laughs> I listen again to it. with the insults. Yeah. Because you fucking judge me right off the bat, dude. You don't even let me finish my sentences. True. Yeah. I'm not good at that. Don't interrupt me, sir. <laughs> let me make my point. One yeah. of the best lineups True. was uh, the Legends show on Sunday, I think it was. Uh, it was like hosted by Rich Voss. Um, Ryan Long was on there. Joe List. Uh, Bobby Kelly. David Tell. And uh, Tim Dillon. Oh, and nice. Nick Mullen. I mean, it was a fucking kill lineup, dude. Yeah. And I got to, I got right in the front. A lot, like a bunch of the shows, there was like big ass lines outside. Uh-huh. So I would just walk around for a little bit until right before, and like, and I would time it so that as I'm walking up to the door, there's they're letting the line in, and I would just walk in right at the front. Damn, dude! <laughs> yeah, you're playing cutscenes. You snaked oh, yeah, it, dude. Every time. That's crazy. Yeah, I was wondering awesome. how you got so close up there, dude. Me too. You just cheat, especially looking like that—a dyke, a dyke with special needs. <laughs> <laughs> She was wearing the wig too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My cousin set me up on a date recently. I showed up to the to the door and knocked, and she opened the door and she said, "Hey, are you here to fix the computer?" Damn. I'm a fucking nerd. So did you fix the computer or not? Yeah, yeah. Fix the computer. And went home. <laughs> That's good. At least the computer works. Yeah. yeah. She fucking. She's like, he sat. He fucking. What's it called when you don't show up to the date? Stood. Stood me up. Yep. Yeah. Stand up. Have you ever been stood up on a date? No, I've never been on a date. What? <laughs> Ever? No, I'm just kidding, buddy. Oh, okay. I believe Not a funny I believed it too. <laughs> <laughs> I felt gullible for that. I've been second. on some dates that I should have not mm. been on. That was weird. Yeah. I went well, on a date with this Chinese girl one time. That's from a big mistake. ASU. <laughs> <laughs> and uh first off, way smarter than you. Yeah. As she was like a way straight smaller. A way smaller than you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, and I don't even think she was 21 because when she busted nice. her ID out, it looked fake. Really? I thought it looked fake. I was like, that is not How this old were you? Uh, was this two weeks ago? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know. I was in my late twenties, I guess. Mm. Mid twenties, something like that. But, uh, yeah, I showed up and the first, and she gets in my car and the first thing she says is, I was just crying in the library. Damn. I was like, Hey, I'm CJ. I was just like, <laughs> crying from the library. <laughs> I was like, are you all right or what? And she's like, I'm just under so much pressure. I under From her so parents, dude, tiger pressure. moms. Yeah, that's true. a real thing. She's yeah. a tiger cub. She's like, I'm trying so hard and I only well, it's have. two different animals. You fucked my brain there for a second. So what a, what a tiger mom. What's a tiger's baby called? Is it, it is a tiger cub. Yeah, fuck you. you. said it. So I thought cubs, Why are you talking, talking I, shit, dude? I'm not. I just thought cubs were bears. They are also cubs. Thank you, CJ. There's multiple cubs. Tiger kitten, I suppose. Is that better? That's a little better. Okay. Carry on with your story. Yeah, so (laughs) we get in the car. She does that. I took her to some bar on Mill, and then we go in there. She drinks a couple of drinks of her drink, and she tells me about how she's like, I think a woman should be curated. And I'm like, what's that mean? (laughs) And she's like, you know, like designer stuff fit to her and whatnot. It's okay if a guy is wearing department store clothes. And I was like, oh, fuck, this is not going anywhere. And where'd you meet this Ching Chong? What the Uh, fuck is this crazy rich Asians, dude? Get out of here, bitch. (laughs) Crazy bitch Asians, dude. For sure. Yeah. It was a Tinder match. Uh, And, uh. And then so she drinks a couple drinks of her drink and then goes to the... She's like, I don't feel good. Uh-oh. And she goes to the bathroom. I don't feel so good. <laughs> yeah. I feel so bad. <laughs> <laughs> and she went to the bathroom and left her drink and like her wallet. <coughs> everything, Everything huh? on the Just table. So you roofied her and fucked her? Right, yeah. Hell yeah. Dude. <laughs> got, yeah got that's got what it you in. gotta do. Got it. Got a couple things off Amazon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I need a new shower curtain. Yeah, it was wild. It's like this is fucking crazy. I feel yeah, like I'm yeah. being set up here. What was her name? Do you want to shout her out? Or uh, I can't remember. All right. I mean, there's probably four names you can actually yeah. say. That. Sue, <laughs> Chi, <laughs> Ming, yeah, Ching Ling. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't say it. That's surprising. Yeah, that's <laughs> really surprising. Actually, you have one Asian friend. And you're the most racist against Asians. I don't only have one. What do you have? About two or three. That's a lot of Asians, dude. Two and a half, I'd say. Okay. Have you ever been stood up on a date? Uh, yeah, I have. I, I don't think I have. Kind of. It was partially your fault, is what you're saying. No, it was like because it was like in seventh grade, and uh, 
we were cool. meeting at the movies, okay. and it's like her parents had to take her, her and like some bullshit happened. Wow. Or like, like we ended up dating for a year after that. She turned me on that she stood me up. <laughs> Damn, hard to hard to catch. First pair of tits I ever saw, dude. Shout out to those tits. First what? First, First pair of tits? tits. Yeah, oh, nice. those are magical. Always, uh, aren't they? I remember what? she like went into the bathroom stall and like she's like, "Here you go," and I jiggled. I'm like, "How oh, cool!" Oh yeah. Just walked out and nice. didn't touch him or kiss him. And I'm just like, "Cool." I don't know what to do with that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know like, exactly I, what you did yeah. with that, dude. What they look like? They were nice, nice seventh grade tits. <laughs> Anchor, now we're on Anchor. <laughs> Supported by Anchor, folks. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Nothing like a great set of 14 year tits. When you're 14, too, though. You know of I mean? course. When, you see a, when you're 14 and you see a good, plump 14-year-old, wow. Oof. What an experience. Are like you even allowed to think about those now? Her tits? Yeah. I'm doing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> you're under arrest, dog. <laughs> Is that like mind arrest? Fucking like, FBI breaks in, dude. Raids yeah. your fucking place. Yeah, that's my that's minority report. It's about <laughs> looking, thinking about minors that you had sex with. Once they have... Uh, He's doing it again. Nice. <laughs> minority reported. Yeah, there you go. Um... Once they have nice Once they nipples, have, what were you going to say? <laughs> yeah, that's where I was going with that. Once they have uh, Neuralink, I mean, that might be a thing. Like, thought sure. crime might oh, literally be a Oh, crazy thought deal. crime? Yeah. I could kill this motherfucker right now. <laughs> Boom, you're on the ground. Next thing you know, fucking hands behind your back for thinking about killing. It's premeditated. That's fucked up. Oh, yeah. That's wild. Do you think it'll be, they'll give it, if you have different races in your mind, they'll kind of be, like, more forgiving? <laughs> What do you mean? Like, like you if know, you think about killing a Hispanic versus oh, a white. Oh, no, because remember we said minorities, that's what they want. I don't know, man. Still. <laughs> <laughs> you keep believing that. Though, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're on the up and up. <laughs> I believe do I believe uh, white people are making a comeback, though. I believe. Do, I believe. I believe. <laughs> And you can vote for me on these. You terms. Bro- Why'd you give him a ride home from the airport? He's hating on you. Dude. I know. Crazy. Huh? He says, I appreciate it. You fucking dumbass." Yeah. That's what he's saying. We can give you the 20 bucks right now. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> on camera, dude. No, I'm not like that, dude. You, you know are that. like that. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You're petty as shit, dude. I'm petty as shit. Are pretty much niggas. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's another word for petty. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho's, that's good, man. I'm glad you had a good weekend, though. Me too. That's Thanks. you deserved it. It was dope. You deserved it. You gonna try and make me cry right now? No, you deserved to have a good weekend. Oh. What does that mean, dude? He's trying to goodwill hunting me. I know, right? Like, it's not your fault. I didn't say it was his fault. Said, you deserve to have a good weekend. I fucking missed the reference over here. What's a goodwill hunting? We say you're not, you say it's not your fault until the person starts crying. Yeah, I know. Sorry. You didn't know, though. I didn't know. No, you legitimately didn't. Oh, know. yeah? I saw it Robin in Williams and fucking Matt Damon, dude. It's not even Matt Damon, dude. Who is it? Zach Efron. It's Matt Dillon. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the only movie that. Ben Affleck and Matt Dillon ever wrote case. What, what was his name? I forgot his name. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like people make that as like a conspiracy. That was the only movie they've ever wrote, and it was like a weird sense of brilliance. Like they never wrote anything else, so they just like had a ghost writ for, written for them, basically to like mm. push them up through Hollywood because mm. they've never done anything like that since. There's then. CIA assets, basically. something like that. You ever think about that? That's I like don't. the Laurel Canyon thing that all of the '60s bands, all their music was written by. Like a, a a single like One CIA day. band, and it was just disseminated to them as like front people for this for this movement to well, delegitimize the hippie movement. I mean, I think that in chaos, that was kind of what they talked about as well. Like that was the whole thing with Charles Manson and trying mm-hmm. to make yeah, hippies like true. these crazy, acid ridden, out of their mind people. Yep, and they really got it all together too. But I mean, they were they were testing uh, partially. They were testing like behavior modification and stuff like that. They had the clinics set up in Laurel Canyon that were free clinics that were basically just big data collection centers for how LSD and meth influence, you know, group violence and shit like that. Same thing in San Francisco then too, right? With um, whatever with uh, Manson and all his followers, they would go to those yeah, clinics. Yeah, that's, that's where Laurel Canyon is. Oh, was that the, was that, that was the same can? Oh. Did you even read the book? Yeah. Jeez, like five years ago, dude, give me a break. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, like the Harvard experiments. You ever heard of those? What, the Harvard prison experiment? Yeah. Yeah. That shit was wild. Did you ever hear about that? Yeah, I did. That was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Just bring something up and not talk about it. <laughs> that shit was wild. Whoa, dude, that shit was fucking wild. That shit was always Moving wild on. about it. <laughs> 
No, wasn't it with like the kids that um, believed? <laughs> I like how you do it as a question. Because <laughs> I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> yeah. That's how I just live life, dude. <laughs> Everything I do is questionable. Um, yeah, no, it's where they like uh, role played and then the kids started believing um, their role and like shit got wild and out of hand. No, so anytime somebody's put in a place of having authority over somebody right. else. Yeah, pretty much what I said. Let's, let's it. talk about what it was. The They separated this uh, this group of college students. Some were to be playing the role of prisoner and some were to be playing role the role playing. of security guard. Said that. Yeah. And uh, the ones who were playing in the role of security guard, the power started to go to their heads and they became abusive and authoritative like pretty quickly. Of course. Peeing on each other. Yeah, in their mouths. Yeah. Everything all over their body. And it was controversial because you know, they they basically subjected the ones who were playing the roles of prisoner as uh, like to torture. Yeah. Yeah. But I mean we see that play out with the the fucking those pictures that came out from Iraq in like the 2000s, right? Where Which ones? they had POWs, Iraqi POWs and oh, right, the right. get most shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean it's true. Were you against I went that? to uh That was all for it. I went to... Uh, they, were hard, they were strictly like BDSM, you know? This is funny. I went to the Trump rally two weeks ago out here. In, oh, yeah. In Phoenix. You saw our leader? <laughs> and uh, Her God. <laughs> it was hilarious because like a lot of the... It's interesting because a lot of like the vitriolic shit that people would attack was coming from the crowd and not from the people speaking. So, for example... Let like, me look that word up really quick. A lot of the... Um, speakers would say things like you know oh the republican party we don't cancel people and then the people in the crowd whenever like the opposition would be brought up would be like put her in get <laughs> <laughs> like, damn dude are you sure that that's damn. not canceling some that's hardcore canceling yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah it's pretty that's a pretty intense canceling yeah get mo straight yeah. cancel get mo canceled yeah. dude wait there might be something there. Mm, I don't know, man. <laughs> what else happened this weekend, guys? I don't know. Kanye hates Jews. Went over that. He's on two of the drops today. I can't give you unrestricted license to attack Jewish people. Yeah. <laughs> so Kanye is all over the place because he attacked the Jews, and then he said that George Floyd died of a fentanyl overdose, and now he's being sued by the, their family. Oh, yeah, for like $250 oh, crazy. million. Dollars, yeah, two fifty million. That's crazy. Man, they're going to abuse that money if they get it. <laughs> that, should be, that should be a show. That should be a show on E, just George Floyd's like family getting $250 oh, yeah. million. Dollars. That'd be yeah. like the next Honey Boo Boo. <laughs> <laughs> they just would spend it on like a year and a half. Hell yeah. And then be broke by the following year. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's crazy, dude. What would you do with $250 million? Suck your dick. Okay, all right. That's what I was going to say, too. <laughs> That's actually my answer as well. Yeah. <laughs> he beat me to it. With $250 million, dude, I'd end world hunger. <laughs> For the whites. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody probably, else, I would, I would starve the rest. I'd probably Damn. start a media company. Yeah, that's a good That's a good route. I mean, that's just in, in um, what's it called when you put your money back into the business. <laughs> What's it called? Investing. investing. Yeah, dude, that's investing. Property, dude. <laughs> yeah. True. Another investment. Property yep. and slaves. Mexico. What's the difference? Uh, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying. What yeah. would you do, Pedro, with 250 smack? I don't know what I would do, dude. I would. Would you leave your family, do you think, honestly? Honestly? Yeah. I'd be out of there so quick. <laughs> <laughs> Get you a carton of cigarettes, I'd um, say. No, dude, I would. I would find. I would. Build a business for sure. I don't know what kind of business yet. Maybe like I don't know. Human trafficking is on the rise. <laughs> I might dive into that. Dwell into that a little bit. Um, yeah, you could make a nice ass tunnel, right? Yeah, with lights and air conditioning. Mm. Nobody would have to suffer. You could make it like a Disneyland trip. It'd be like a it's civil like a human trafficking. Yeah, it'd be civilized human trafficking for sure. Let us know in the comments what would you do with two hundred fifty million dollars? Bringing the humanity back in human trafficking, dude. Whoa. Do you want to be my like PR person? And then maybe, <laughs> maybe to the family you abduct the child from, you give them like a robot, like with AI intelligence. Oh, an mimics, Elon Musk bot, yeah, mimics or a Boston the market baby bot that you stole. Yeah, best mac and cheese. Best mac town. and cheese, by the oh way. Oh my god, Boston <laughs> mac and cheese. Are you kidding me? They have the spirals with the extra cheese. Ooh, 
Pasta market mac and cheese is trash, dog. <laughs> It'll make you fucking put a knee on somebody's neck, dude. <laughs> oh, real quick. That cheese. Yeah, yeah. It'll make me sue you for two fifty, dude. Oh man. <laughs> um, um, um Yeah, no, but I just find a business a very a profitable business. Well, what kind of business? Just, I, I would don't start know, a you profitable know. business. <laughs> You know, just with a small <laughs> loan from my father of a million dollars, dude, I could yeah. do anything. It's not true. You couldn't do anything. No, he went bankrupt, actually, the first time. He went bankrupt like three times. Dude, the DJT Trump rally. So I said the first DJT. time. DJT. The Donald Trump rally was hilarious, though, because it was outdoors. I got fucking burnt to a crisp. Damn. And uh, Probably a little caught. so many old ladies fucking were getting wheeled out of there on stretchers. Dude. Damn. Damn. That's was, wilder than the Travis Scott concert. Yeah, dude. It was like a Travis Scott concert, but inverted in color yeah. it, it was wild <laughs> like, there's not I a black like, soul out there <laughs> i'm pretty sure that this is just a way of eliminating some trump followers like that's what uh, this maybe. feels like did you uh witness any like spicks or blacks out there oh and um, i would never say that hispanics are pretty much niggas so. uh True. yeah really mm -hmm. that's surprising why I don't know. I didn't. First think of all, a bunch of Hispanic people are Trump supporters. Yeah, that's so true, huh? Yeah, yeah, that is crazy. They're two faced. And two faced then liars. Like, all Mexicans are liars. Do you think so? Yeah, because they go to your face. Oh, you're like Donald Trump. Then, bah, 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 bah. Keep this good. And then they go to the voting booth. Who are they voting for? Donald Trump every single time. True, huh? Hundred percent of the time. There's. I mean, there are theories about that where it's like the Democrats are trying to let in a bunch of uh, people from South America. Oh. <laughs> as a way of uh, bolstering Democrat numbers, and then they don't realize that, like Hispanic culture is very conservative. Right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we're you know. so it's just like going to backfire, anyways. It's weird to feel hair on the back of my head right here. <laughs> I don't remember. I was going to say your whole head, but that would have been me, no, and my, I didn't say it. No, you my know? sides can get quite a bit of hair, dude. Yeah. You should if let I it grow, dude. You should let it grow. You should it'd let look, it grow. Look wild. Let it grow. It, it let like it, it grow. <laughs> let, let it grow. Sorry, I'm I'm on chance right now because of the fucking Louis J. Gomez, dude. Yeah. yeah, it would look like Carlos from Bad Friends. I don't know what they look like. Uh, yeah. I don't watch that show either. Good reference, dude. Thank you. It's from a, <laughs> for the diehard podcasters out there, yeah. Dude. I guess. I mean, I listen to it weekly, but all right. God, you got. I don't like Earth's energy today. Why not, dude? Spooky. So I can caress my face, dude. That was hot. Got some stubble on there, dude. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna really? Jerk you off. I shaved. Oh. oh, I missed the spot right there. All right. Do you have anything we can end on, CJ? Let's. Can you pick this show up? Let's try to make the last ten minutes enjoyable. I've been having a great time this. Oh, time. enjoyable. Yeah. No, I don't have anything. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, we do have some some news items. Uh, What's one going thing on in that news, came out today is that the, there What's was a Project you? Mockingbird. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking got him. <laughs> You got him so good with that. <laughs> I'm kidding. Carry on. Yeah, continue, fag. <laughs> uh, just kidding, dude. Continue, please, with the news article. Does the carpet match your rape? <laughs> what? I don't know. I don't think that one makes sense. Words. Words. No, his crotch is on fire because of herpes. <laughs> <laughs> A secret, Into the news. <laughs> a secret BBC script uh, was leaked today, which big black cock script, uh, which prepares it's for for possible use in winter blackouts. Oh, yeah, kind of spooky. This? In uh, in England, what are they ensuing the with that? So the BBC has prepared secret scripts that could be read on air if energy shortages cause blackouts or the loss of gas supplies this winter. So basically, they leaked. Uh, there was a leak of the scripts that they would use if uh, if Russia cuts off the gas uh, power. Yeah, and they end up having like rolling blackouts, and like some of the things that it says are like rolling blackouts. Uh, sounds like my twenties. Sorry. ¿Quién crees que eres? Um, the uh, it sounds like a drive-by shooting. ¿Quién crees que eres? Um, the, the some of the scripts were like, "Oh, sorry, no, oh, King." Damn, damn, right on his dome, dude. <laughs> He's zonked out. Yeah. He's dead. That's not funny. Sorry about your dog. He is a skeleton, dude. True. Um, he's cute and dead. 
It's Cuban. <laughs> Rolling blackouts, dude. So uh, one of the things that they said was like uh, the government expects you know to have things restored within thirty six to forty eight hours. That's good and shit like that. And it's just it, to me, I read that and I'm like, so you're so you, you've already prepared a script that says what the government has said, even though it's not a real thing. That's pretty interesting. Uh, and uh, premonition it's called after the leak the bbc has come out and said it oh it's you know it's just part of a routine emergency emergency Protocol. plan to, yeah. to deal with hypothetical it's just scenarios. part of the plan bitch yeah and they're like it it's just all plan isn't it <laughs> <laughs> part of the plan governor uh the government is confident that this is not a scenario we will face this winter king what did you say ching king dude it charles king. King charles it was an automatopoeia you fucking idiots whoa you don't even know Is that how happened. it feels like to get insulted? <laughs> not that bad. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, it doesn't feel like that. <laughs> when they're punch, when they're punching up. <laughs> yeah. Well, that sucks. But we're not in England, so who gives a shit? Yeah, for real. Fuck them. Yeah. Black them um, out, dude. The Daryl Brooks trial began today. Oh, Daryl Brooks. Wow. Is you a basketball Joe player? Joe Brooks is. Is a goalie. <laughs> you're, jo- a you're joking, right? Like how you went opposites. I don't know what he is. Basketball player, hockey player. Yeah, how do you think? How do you think it was a black guy go from basketball Darryl, to hockey? Daryl Brooks, diabetes. It does kind of sound like it could be a really black name or a really white name. Like yeah, Oklahoma, right? Oklahoma Country boy, white. Yeah, um, he's the, the guy. Hills have eyes, boy. He's the guy who uh, ran over all those old ladies and children during the oh, uh, Santa Christmas Claus. parade. Yeah, yeah. Daryl Brooks. You had no fucking idea, you idiot. Massacre. Yeah. So what? Oh, call it a massacre. Guilty. <laughs> as much as I would a party. <laughs> um, yeah, it would just know, be ghost riding the whip, dog. <laughs> the trial just began ghost riding today. Ghost the whip. So. That was riding the whip. Son. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, I mean, it's on video, right? He's guilty as fuck. Grandma got run over by, by, Darryl by Brooks. a black guy. Oh, by a black guy it. and a very dude out of time. <laughs> <laughs> um... So, yeah, that started today. We'll see where that goes, right. right? Okay. Well, I'd hate to see another black man in jail. That's all I'm going to say. That's yeah. my piece on it. Yeah. I think uh, all these all these people I got run over. Just they're playing, racist. They're playing the victim for sure. They are playing the victim. Yeah, they're they playing the racist, white privilege. Dude. Yeah. Saying this fucking black guy ran over me. On our holiday, they said, too. Yeah, it's like, what were you doing out? Trying to act. Yeah, like he, like he's not allowed to. This is reparations, yeah. bitch. He's probably doing Uber Eats or some shit, dude, trying to find the apartment. <laughs> yeah, they jumped in front of the car. <laughs> Have you seen all these fucking oil protesters, dude, going around like vandalizing Van Goghs and like shit like that? Yeah, pieces of shit. God oh. damn, that grinds my gears so seen hard. What's really? Happening? So like all these oil it's fucking the first interesting thing you said today. Blue haired freaks are fucking out there throwing, dumping shit on like original Van Goghs and like why? Because Van Gogh used fucking oil paint. That was pretty shitty. It just, yeah, <laughs> one, but it's like don't. ridiculous, dude. Because like then, like they're going to like uh, fucking car dealerships and shit. There's like, you're not gonna fucking take over that fucking horse shit. They're yeah, like gluing yeah. their so, hands. What do you mean? So Van Goghs are hanging up at car dealership places? No, or? they're doing it all over the place, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and Austin Martin probably does have a fucking Van Gogh. Austin Martin has Van Goghs <laughs> hanging up inside their fucking cafeteria. <laughs> It's crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Boston They're like market. gluing their hands to like the walls and shit to protest. That's, That's so sick, stupid dude. to me. I wish I didn't have a job. <laughs> I know. Yeah, they like uh, glued their hand to the wall and then dumped orange paint all over an original Van Gogh at this museum. Damn. Uh, and they got arrested. And one of the girls did Fucking this idiots. sign behind her back. White power? White supremacists. Oh, snap. Damn. Activists, dude. They're out there. Yep. The government warned us about them. They're dangerous. Yep. You should stop. Blue hair, white skin. Blue hair, white skin. That's, I'm they, never gonna that's stop. what they say. I'm never going to stop until our Van Gogh's destroyed. <laughs> Don't stop until you get enough. Come you shouldn't have used so much oil. That was fucked up. It was. Now that I think about it, they're right. All art is racist. Yeah, Van Go somewhere else, dude. Yeah. Oh, how about Van No? Yeah. Stand right here. All right. Strike two. <laughs> <laughs> Strike two, dude. You was could have stopped that. How about Van Is your no. third batting experience today or what? That would have been good. What? 
Because she said strike two, you've striked out a couple times already today, dude. But yeah, I'm over three. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Batting average okay. one point. We all are. Dude. We're off today. Okay, we're, I'm gonna be honest with everybody. You're off. I know I am. I just got no. It was a question. Yeah, I took mushrooms earlier today, dude. Did you? <laughs> yeah, I did. Is that a problem? I'll give you a mushroom later. I forgot I was taking mushrooms and I was driving around doing errands. My window's down listening to music. I was like, life feels pretty good right now. <laughs> Until I forgot I took a couple of mushrooms. Oh, yeah. It's because of those drugs. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. Yeah. It is pretty cool, dude. Yeah, drugs will make your life better, people. Oh, yeah. Was, Way better. Yeah. I love a good microdose of mushrooms. A couple stems or calves. That's so nice, dude. I've never done it. Yeah. It's, it's kind of like an edible in a way. Okay. But it feels like less i don't know it feels Panicky. more y- kind of like you feel more connected than like yeah right. i think weed is a lot more dissociative it's than for, exactly just that's mushrooms exactly what it is yeah with mushrooms you're you're locked into where you are and everything but you're just experiencing it all around you being like kind of grateful and like absorbing it in a weird in a, in a kind of a different way it's i nice. mean i did that with edibles but i'm, I'm saying yeah it probably is different I absorb and like I am grateful and like I you can absorb this dick, dog. Yeah, dude, if you're a Van Gogh banning, I'd take a shit on you right now. <laughs> I would sit on your face and just shit diarrhea right uh, down that your fucking nose. Uh, I'm so hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The ESG shit is backfiring on uh, BlackRock. What's that? What's what? ESG is the new thing at BlackRock Coffee. What's ESG <laughs> and what is BlackRock? Ah. <laughs> uh, BlackRock is the uh, large investment company that's been buying up all, all this, the property and land, yeah, driving up pr- uh, prices and you uh, know making it so that people can't afford shit. Live the American dream. Yep, like me. And uh, a fucking two bedroom apartment. A, a bunch of uh, <laughs> a bunch of states are divesting their funds from BlackRock because BlackRock is focusing more on ESG, which is environmental social governance uh, protocols or whatever. Which basically just means, you know, woke bullshit uh, instead of, you know, prioritizing stakeholder returns, shareholder returns. Stakeholder is a fucking ESG term. Mm. But that's interesting. Like, it seems like the tide is turning a little bit on the woke, uh, the woke culture elite. Mm. Mm. Mm, Interesting. (laughs) It is interesting. Yeah, it is. That's why I said it. Why are you are you a What's camel? wrong you with just, you, dude? Do you just bury your hand, head in the sand, dude? It's crazy. Yes, it's, it's wild. I know you're gonna suffocate. No, I won't. Hey, he's a World Economic Forum shill, dude. He's on this show to fucking keep us from succeeding. Of course, he is. That's what it is. I've been planted. Oh yeah, with our message of independence and liberty, dude. It's our only message. I was happy. that and fourteen year old tits are pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Is that the name of the episode? 14 year old tits are pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, you went to a pumpkin patch. Did you want to talk about some pumpkin patch action? Sure, dude. dude. Yeah, well, you guys are all fucking an EMSG over here and fucking whatever Eating you're MSG. doing. Yeah, like I'm over at a pumpkin patch. I dated a, a Chinese girl, dude. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> True. Having a grand old time with my daughter, dude. It was fun. We went to. It's gay old time. Yeah. It's expression. Uh, we went to McDonald's Ranch. It's up a little north here. It was very nice. God, they had Mexicans a lot of are so activities. fat, dude. I know. Excuse me? You said Mexicans are so fat. Going to McDonald's all the time. Yeah. Jesus. Christ. You. Piece of. Van Gogh. Nugget. Ass. I got nuggets at home now that you it's said nuggets. These are pretty much <laughs> niggas. <laughs> He said nuggets, and I got hungry. I got nuggets, <laughs> I got nuggets at home for I, sure. That's what I'm saying. I dude. got nuggets at home. Yeah, I don't go to McDonald's, dude. I just went to yeah, with a body like that, dude. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Look at these arms. Joelis would have been fucking jelly. Yeah, Joelis would have been more like a <laughs> right, Anyway, I went to a on. fucking pumpkin patch, right. and um, I got to see my daughter experience uh, sex. Pu- <laughs> Sorry. I'm I'm on <laughs> no. Never fucking gonna get through any stories with you guys, dude. I swear to God. You guys it's literally me just off, did dude. this to me. No, no, we didn't. Yeah, yeah. you did. We like did it, but it was funny, ago. dude. Okay. <laughs> no, but um yeah, I went to a bunkage pass, she rode a pony. 
Oh, yeah, um, she did. So she. <laughs> You're fucking disgusting. You're calling us out for calling 14 year old tits hot and yeah. he's over here making I didn't sex jokes. This is a minority report episode, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say? I said, uh, at least they're developed, dude. 14 is nice. <laughs> yeah, we rode a fucking train, dude, around the oh pumpkin patch. Yeah, you did. <laughs> There's a petting zoo. <laughs> there was a petting zoo. A heavy petting zoo. <laughs> Uh, what else did we do, dude? We were gonna pick out a pumpkin, but we figured it rot. Mm. You know, by by the time Halloween gets here, so mm. we. Think it only rots if you cut it, right? I don't know. Yeah, usually. Do you know what I saw the other day? This lady made her chickens carve out her pumpkin. Yeah. Yeah, you. I guess you like scratch off. You just like scratch off the first layer of skin that a pumpkin has. And then the chickens just dig at that, and they carve the holes in the mouth. It looks pretty cool, actually. I think I, huh. I enjoyed it. That's weird. You gotta start looking at porn again. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that dude. Sucks. It's been nice, actually. It's been really terrible. Nice. Has it? Yeah. Not looking at porn. Yeah, it really has. Really. What's nice about it? Yeah, not seeing fucking big old tits and ass get banged out, dude, by multiple guys. Yeah, it's really nice. <laughs> it's really nice not having that in my life. Um, no, I don't know, man. It's just more. I feel more energized. You know, not constantly fucking on my mind and shit like that mm. so porn was constantly on your mind it really was i told Smart. you guys on that episode that i had a problem yeah it's not a good problem it's a bad problem it's a bad problem it's one of the bad <laughs> ones bad, yeah. <laughs> yeah. no but it's it's been really it's almost like a weight off your shoulders type of thing you know mm-hmm. but it's a fucking slippery slope with instagram and all that shit dude because it's all on there. Easy, dude. Don't call her a slippery slope just because she was Chinese. Yeah, true. Sorry. Thank you. It's a slippery cliff. <laughs> mm. Better? Mm-hmm. Okay. Slippery um, cliff was the name of the uncle who raped me. <laughs> oh. He always got away. <laughs> <laughs> they can never catch him, dude. Yeah. Plus yeah, he but... Didn't um, have air conditioning. That's been nice. And then just making core memories with my child, dude. You're going to live that soon. I know. If I stick around, I will. <laughs> I hope you stick around. I'm going to, dude. There's still time. You say that now. True. We'll f- tune in and find out. <laughs> Every week. Woo! Whoa, <laughs> Whoa. Is Nick going to make it? Am I still a father? <laughs> Am I coming home? Am I not coming home? Yeah, true. Can I have your stuff if you die? What stuff do you want? Um, Damn, you really took that to... The fullest extent of the meaning. Yeah, I wasn't gonna kill myself. He's just gonna psycho. abandon his family, dude. Yeah. Oh, never mind then. Are you gonna take your stuff when you abandon your family? Though? Yeah, <laughs> well, most of it. It's rightfully mine. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, it was something. You know, Ezra Miller could face twenty six years in jail. Ezra? Yeah. Not Ezra. The actor from The Flash. The Flash. Oh, he was a dick, wasn't he? I mean, he was like running a cult in Hollywood. Oh, is that the Roman? No, it's the Zodiac Killer. No, what what oh. what kind was that? What cult was that? I mean, it was just Ezra Miller, like sexually enslaving young people. But didn't he like put like uh, marks on them and shit too? I'm not was sure. It, was it that? No, was dude, that the cult? it wasn't that. It wasn't uh, that dude. Uh, no, he was uh, recently. He was most recently in hot water for grooming like an underage dude. A dude? Yeah. Now I, that's bad. And I said he, but it's actually they. Whoa. He goes by they them. So. Elliot, yeah. Elliot Page. No. Um, there's another one in Hollywood. Uh huh. Which one? And they're all. They them. Yeah. It's a weird world, dude. Yeah, it's weird that he like groomed an underage kid, and he's been like sexually exploiting a bunch of like young people but what he's going to go to jail for is that he broke into his neighbor's house and stole some alcohol really yeah so he's getting charged with burglary and larceny yeah. and then that's how they got him and he pled not guilty so if it goes to trial and, go- and he gets convicted he could get up to 25 years for the burglary booze? and one year for larceny i believe it was yeah like 20 years for burglary 25 wow Worse than killing a person. It's crazy. By the time he's out of jail, there's going to be a new crop for him to molest. Yep. And then they're already going to be. Dude. They're already going to be too old for him. I know. It's wild. Sad for him. Honestly. It is sad. Yeah. Think about all the young 
14 year old yeah. normal childhood. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's too, really too bad. That's too bad, dude. Well, gone pr- in a flash. Just prayers like that, dude. to Ezra. I hope Ezra makes it, dude. Yeah. Because it's hard to jerk off to kitty porn in jail. I've heard. Yeah, he's going to have to rely solely on his memory like you do. Yeah, he's going to do <laughs> core memories. <laughs> core memory jerks, yeah. <laughs> you guys are disgusting. I know. I don't know why I hang out with you guys. I don't know why nobody watches this podcast. Dude. I don't either. <sighs> Amor. Amor. We'll see you next week. Little baby, don't say a word. That's what Ezra Miller said.